Hello, we are Painting Box and our song is called Glazed Eyes on the Beat. Performed live in the Beat Studio, the track is Glazed Eyes, performed by Painting Box. Sophie and Danny, good to have you here. Hello, Hello. nice to be here. Nice to be here. Now, do you know, it's not a year since you uploaded your first track to BBC Introducing, so what a year it's been, really. Yeah, yeah it's been played a few since. venues in Nottingham since. Uh, yeah. Obviously, Rough Trade, is been, we played there a few times, kind of working our way up the ladder a bit more now. Yeah. You really yeah. are. So how did it all start out for you? Yeah, well, we um, both went to uni in Brighton, uh, which we both met there, didn't we? both in separate bands and then like just came together as a duo really um, and just kind of started writing just for the fun of it and then yeah I started to get some quite good tracks that we thought so well, like, we'll send it off you know to you guys and yeah we had to fight for that we had to make sure you know, <laughs> knew that we lived in Nottingham originally yeah yeah so, so what is the Nottingham connection exactly um, I'm originally from Nottingham so I mean when I left here it was like a massive metal scene you know there wasn't much there's a lot more acoustic venues than there, there used to be now mm. but there's you know Hockley's grown so much and um, there's so many more good venues to play and things like that. The sound that you've got, I remember the first time we played, you, you you said the name Painting Box comes from this pastiche of sound, and folk and country, I think, were the two that were mentioned there. Yeah. It seems to be going more towards country. Is that a conscious decision? Yeah. It's, it's kind of different influences, isn't it? Because yeah. I mean, I've got the kind of, like, I, I've always liked country, so I've always kind of liked the pop kind of, and old, also like Dolly Parton, or them kind of people, and and you were kind of like... Stuck in the 60s. Folk, <laughs> like, I, I, love, yeah. I just love old folk from the 60s, or anything like that, like Fairport Convention, or... 
I don't know, Jethro Tull's in there at the minute. So I'm kind of that side of things. And so it's combined, the it's kind of like, yeah. yeah, some mix of different... Americana. <laughs> yeah. That's a good way That's of putting it. That's what we're going to go, yeah. I hate to judge people based on their age, but you don't feel like you're of the age where you should like Jethro Tull. Oh, I'm no, sorry, yeah. Jethro Tull fans watching this will be leaving oh. hate messages. Now, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm actually 48. <laughs> this aged really well. No, um, I just I don't know why I like kind of music. I like it because it's raw. You can hear... You, I don't know whether it's the production more... You can just hear everything that's happening, like they're kind of playing in the studio for you. Do you know what I mean? So that's the kind of original side of it. So when you first met, were you of similar musical mind straight away? Yeah, I think it was the fact that it was influenced by the rawness and you know the lyrics and the you know the beautiful guitar parts and kind of things together. We were very much kind of influenced that way. So I think when we came together, it was quite easy with the you know yeah. kind of thing, wasn't it? I think we were both in bands and um, we just wanted to strip it back a bit. It, was, it gets a bit complicated when you're in bands and you're trying to add loads. You've all got different influences and it sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes just taking it back to songwriting and working from the songwriting to begin with is a good idea before you complicate everything else. One day we might be a band again. But for yeah. now, we're just writing songs. Yeah. Just trying to trying to keep it simple, really. Yeah. Yeah. I love listening to your songs and, and l- sort of focusing on the lyrics because they're very clever and there's always sort of an overriding message in there. Where did glazed eyes come from? Um, we thought, didn't we? we yeah. It was kind of like, you know, when you're, when you're feeling a bit drunk and you're with your partner or whatever and you kind of get that kind of like glazed look where you're both kind of loving and we thought like, you know, um, it says fly high with a merlot. So we wanted to kind of do the play on words where it was wine but also a bird. Like in print, so yeah, there you go. We kind of yeah. That very together. clever. It's all about wine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really clever. All of our songs. A week tonight, you play the Long Road Festival. Yes, which is is exciting. exciting. So, and thank you for representing us first of oh, all. Oh, we have to thank you. Yeah, we, we, we can't wait to see what you do there. Um, but it, it's a it's a new country festival. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. that's amazing. Some I mean, great acts, aren't they? I mean, we we've, we've been we went to Nashville. Yeah. yeah so we we kind of like that scene. It feels like it's being brought to England a little bit. That kind yeah. of vibe. Um, obviously Bob Harris is there he loves Americana he loves Nashville yeah. so it's going to be exciting we, to... we went there didn't we in um, February this year yeah, so, yeah it was really not, cool yeah. not long ago but New, Nashville and New Orleans so it was kind of like the jazz and then which is the really country I've always wanted to go to Nashville since I was like young so yeah. did you perform so, there? yeah we did we, well, we, we playing performed, in Tootsies and, and the Bluebird you know the Bluebird Cafe and what do they um, make of two Brits standing up <laughs> doing they this love the English they, they, they yeah, said they Fairport Convention straight away to yeah. <laughs> I was like yeah you sound like Fairport but the fact that we don't really the song we played it sounds nothing like them I think no. it might be the English accent yeah. over acoustic guitar yeah. Just the English accent, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, Fairport Convention. So we, put, we put it on a little bit, didn't we? We're like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it's very posh. It <laughs> <laughs> so, who else are you looking forward to seeing at the Long Road? Oh, oh, Carrie Underwood, I've always loved. There's so, there's so many. Shires, the Shires are a really good band. Yeah, they're to wicked. See. But you, you mentioned the Shires are, were quite close to, to here, to Nottingham. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love to meet the Shires. Yeah. yeah. They're kind of cool, cool kind of. They're kind of similar to us, actually. Yeah. That's probably why we like them so much. <laughs> yeah. But similar dress sense as well. Yeah, sure, yeah. Ward Thomas, obviously. Um, yeah, really excited. But here's the thing: you play on the Saturday. The festival yeah. starts on the Friday. So have you got to go on Friday and behave yourself? Oh no! Yeah, we're, we're going to go on <laughs> the yeah. Saturday, aren't we? Really Can't trust, trust ourselves. ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stay in a in a tent, you know, and then do a gig afterwards. Be, be a bit of a mess. Yeah, yeah. we're going to stay on the Saturday, though, aren't oh, we? Yeah, we'll, and we'll, stay we'll, for we'll the Sunday. Yeah. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing you at the Long Road Festival next weekend. Thank you very much indeed for being here. And once again, thank you for representing us at the festival. Uh, Where do we go online to find more things Painting Box? Uh, Spotify, Spotify, yeah, under Painting Box. It's Let Me Grow, isn't it? Let Me Grow EP. Yeah. That'd be the easiest way to find us. We need to, we need to, um, like, record more tracks, don't we, which we're trying to do, like, recently. Because there's only, like, three or four on there, but... Yeah, we've got loads more than that, so... Watch this space. Well, you're going to perform another one now, and, and lyrically, this one is even more fascinating than the previous one. So I, I, maybe we'll, we'll talk off air about where these came from. But what will this track be? Uh, this song is called "Far From Home." One hand on the steering wheel, another on what could have been. Is it best to be lost at sea than to live your life religiously? Cause I'm I'm walking down a dead end road I see no light with my blindfold Feel the blood in my veins Like a moth to a flame I, Cause it's my life And it's my Take a chance. 
So let it pass, sipping on a half full glass. Feel the rush inside of you as your conscience breaks through. Cause it's my It's my life. 